Jean Alcantara. Hi guys. Hello. Good Hello again. Hello. Ayan na. Hello sa inyo lahat. Hello po. Oh, dito ko din sa inyo. Can you please tell us more about uh, Inside Starstruck? Well, Inside Starstruck po, dyan niyo po may kita lahat ng chismis, lahat ng intriga, lahat ng kumbaga, lahat ng behind the scenes na mangyayari sa mga hopefuls natin. And syempre, every 6pm po yan um, sa ating official page ng Starstruck. And of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ikaw ang magsichismis sa kanila? Yes, every 6pm po pala yan from Mondays to Fridays. YouTube and Facebook uh, yeah, page and okay. Facebook channel. So, ano bang dapat abangan ng mga kapuso natin sa online show na Inside Stars Show? So, yeah, you know, may ibang mga cheesemates. Sabi <laughs> <laughs> mo, behind the scenes, yung mga pag-ready ng ating mga Starstruck hopefuls. And mali nyo, may magka, you know, may magka loving one. May mga ganda-discover. May mga ganda-discover. So, wala pa magsyado. Pero may syempre, like, I'm observing them. So, yeah. May mga get Sure. For now, in terms of looks, yes, a lot of them, as I said, have a sila. Well, um, magaganda, guapo looks, personality, character, check, and check. Kung magaganda ng mix nila. But in terms of uh, personality, importante din po kasi yan sa pag-edit. He's saying personality and character. Well, um, wala pa masyado because the little best pa lang kami hikita na. Okay. So, ikaw ba? Paano ka naman nag-prepare for this, ano, you... Uh, thing para sa'yo to. Kasi, first time, hindi mo naman first time na mag-host, pero parang showbiz anchor ang dating mo dito eh. Yeah, well, um, na-train na naman po ako when, you know, 24 hours, with Studio 7, with Sunday Pinasaya, nag-hosting naman po ako din sa side. But now, it's full-on hosting talaga. So, um, I'm really excited, but of course, um, pagkikirapan ko talaga siya, and syempre, progress ko talaga. Thank you very much, Kayanin. Muli mga kapuso, mapapanood po ang Inside Starshock sa official YouTube and Facebook page ng Starshock every Monday to Friday. 6 p.m. po yan. So, iwanan na natin kay Kayanin yan, ang ating Starshock Insider. Uh, abangan natin ang mga vlog niya tungkol sa mga nangyayari. Pati na rin, Kayanin, pati na rin sa media ko natin tonight. Abangan namin yan kung anong ilalagay mo siya. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us all give a warm round of applause as we welcome this season's Starstruck Hosts. Our very own Ultimate Star and Starstruck Season 1 Ultimate Female Survivor, Miss Jenny Lynn Mercado. Unfortunately, she cannot be here tonight, but she prepared a special message for all of us here. Let's all watch this. <laughs> Kaibigan namin, President of the Gangobe, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagbunta ninyo. Ako, pasensya na po at hindi ako makakarating dahil nandito pa po ako sa taping ng Love You Pero I just wanna say thank you sa lahat po na nagpunta at maraming salamat din po sa patuloy na pagmamahal at pagsuporta niyo sa Starstruck. Since season 1 at hanggang ngayon na magsisimula na naman ang bagong season. It's been 15 years na simula nung nanalo ako ng unang season. Wow! Grabe, ang tagal na pala, ano, pero... Mahabang buhay po ako magpapasalamat sa Starstruck dahil nabago po na manubusan ang buhay ko. Dahil sa Starstruck, uh, na-reach ko yung dreams ko para sa sarili ko at para sa pamilya ko. Kaya excited na ako sa bagong season dahil marami na namang mga kabataan na mabibigyan ng pagkakataon na matupad ang pangarap nila na maging artista. Kung hindi po madali ang Starstruck, lahat ng emosyon mararamdaman nyo dyan. Marami. May saya, may lungkot, may doubt, may kilig at marami pang iba. Pero para sa mga bagong batch ng hopefuls, nasa tagline na ng show ang mga kailangan nilang tandaan para sa kanilang artista journey. Just believe in the power of your dreams to survive. Start strong. Alright. Without further ado, hold on to your seats as I introduce you our respected council members for this season who will be monitoring the finalists and be involved in, their, uh, in the storytelling of the program. Let's give it up for... Queen of Creative Collaborations, Miss Art Evangelista. Actress par excellence, Miss Sherry Hill. Lodi, 
José Manalo. Sila po ang council members ng Starstruck Season 7. And finally, joining Miss Jenelyn as this season's host is Kapuso Primetime King, Mr. Dingdong Dante. Before we move on to our question and answer portion, I'd like to ask our hosts and judges, maka meron po kayong short message para sa ating guests for tonight. Good evening, and thank you for being here. A lot of friends in the press, I see. Thank you again, and sorry to keep you waiting. Not my fault. <laughs> but a little bit my fault. Sensya na po. Costume or function? Time to do step bounce. Go naman. Uh, good evening, and it's nice to see all the familiar faces here. Um, thank you for coming. Magandang gabi po. Magandang. Salamat po, agad dito kayo. Sana sa showing po nito, masuportahan nito po nito. Sa mga pelikula, sa sinasinihan. Ay, hindi ba mo? Hindi. Thank you. Good evening po, good evening. Uh, good evening. Excited na kami ikwento sa inyo kung ano ang paparating dito sa ating susunod na Star Trek season. Ayan, dahil ex excited ka ng ikwento, umpisa ka na natin. Kahit konti lang, ano ba yung, uh, what should we look forward to to this uh, Star Trek next season? Uh, well, unang-una sa umpisa pa lang, may tanggala na kami. Dahil from 22, makakutdown sila sa 14. Kasi dati, hindi ba 14 gagad na ikita natin. So, iyon yung isa sa mga unang twists na makikita dun sa episode na papalabas namin very soon. So, from 22, makakap down gagad sila to 14. And, unang-unang uh, gap at segment pa lang, meron na kaagad yung heartbeat na maririnig nyo na talagang kinakabahan tayo lahat pag naririnig natin. So, heartbreaking na kaagad yung unang episode pa lang. Pause agad. Okay. Sige. And then, uh, floor is now open to the members of the press who'd like to ask questions. Ang unang tanong po natin ay magkagaling kay Tito Gorgi Lula. Ay, good evening po. Ay, ding dong mo. Dom, from season one hanggang ngayon, kayong host, di ba? Um, ano yung nakikita mong uh, different this time sa season, season seven compared before? nung mga nakaraang season. Plus, idiretso ko na rin yung tanong, ano nakita mong pagbabago kay Jenny nung hindos mo siya nung uh, aspirant pa lang siya sa Stars Chuck 1 at kaya ni co-host. 15 years ago yun. Yes, and then co-host mo na. 15, no? Kasi mo, kung may isang goal 15 years ago, uh -huh. yung mga high, senior high school na ngayon. Pero, ano eh, um, uh, siguro isa sa major na major na pagkakaiba ay walang social media dati. So, kumbaga yung yung progress ng mga hopefuls, uh, yung kanilang mga buhay ay hindi masyado na susundan sa likod ng well, after the show or beyond the show. Pero dito mas nagiging involved yung mga humahanga sa kanila dahil uh, kahit hindi napapanood on air, nasusundan sila online. Siyempre na dyan si Kylie na nagbibigay sa atin ng live updates. Um, kay Jen naman, ano man observahan mo sa kanya? Ah, okay. Kay Jen, syempre, um, since siya yung ultimate survivor na una, uh, ang daming opportunities na naibigay sa kanya. And uh, nandiyan yung pag-arte, nandiyan yung pagkanta, uh, at lahat yung tingin ng GMD. Siguro yung commitment niya nung nanalo siya, kitang-kita ko kasi yung pagiging, um, uh, yung pagiging consistent niya doon sa kanyang commitment dito sa pagganap sa mga rules na yan. Kaya yung progress sa kayong pagiging magaling niya, eh parating nag-i-improve. And um, siguro magandang ehemplo ngayon yung kanyang current na teleserye. Di ba kitang kita natin yung kanyang kagalingan sa Rocco. Kaya wala po siya ngayon dahil nagtitaping siya. So yung mga bagay na gano'n. So nakita mo ngayon yung hopefuls ngayon. May na, meron ka na bang nak kitang parang na pansin mo agad na ah, ito parang may laban ito. Alam niyo makakasagot talaga din yung council. Like. Sila ang sumuri, sila yung uh, <laughs> sila talaga yung nag-scream um, ng marami hanggang sa maging 22. So, kung meron mas nakakilala sa kanila yung council sa ngayon, ha, sa ngayon. 
Okay. Actually, the direct one that I'm going to before that, I want to ask you first the Starstruck Council. Um, first time you have to judge the Starstruck. Before, do you have to be aware of that or are you aware of the Starstruck before? From heart. Yes, of course. Uh, Starstruck is such a big name. Uh, but it's my first time to judge. So, nahihirapan ako. <laughs> nahihirapan ako kasi syempre lahat naman sila magaling. You know, so, you know, it's an experience. We should be. Well, to tell you the truth, no. I didn't even know Janelin was starstruck. <laughs> I judged Prodigy. There was a time when we did Prodigy. I don't know what happened to that. But I had that experience. It was really fun. And now I'm glad to be part of the council. And, and in fact, honored that they trust me with making the choice of the uh, final 14. That's the hardest part, right? Because when you get to the 14, we have a lot of help from the viewers. They'll come in with their votes, so that kind of eases us from the pressure. But the first 14, we are the one So, you know, their dream is in our hands. It's hard to discourage the uh, kids who are really looking out for their dreams. At saka, ang dahami na nilang pinagdaanan. Imagine from thousands down to hundreds to eighty and only now, ay talaga matira-matibay. So, we're gonna be very, very careful in our choices. Diba, Jose? Yes. May hirap ka sa mga sa'yo. Oo, ako ay ganito. Sige, sige, sige. Sige, sige, sige. Sige, sige, sige. Oh, oh, nagagamit ko rito. 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 Nagagamit dahil nagustuhan mo siyang pumilar dito, kailangan mo na mag-decide ka yung oras na yun. So, mahirap. Komplikado. So, na, na medyo kilala nyo na o napakaralan nyo na yung 22 hopefuls, di ba? Ikaw ba, Hart? Uh, may nakikita ka ba na parang nakarelate ka sa kwento? Ano yun sa mga... Mm. Lahat sila, may mga factors na mm. you can relate to. Um, it's just a matter of, I guess, in a way, putting them in a boiling pot as little onions and waiting for them to, you know, layers and layers to shed off. Um, and so, parang, that's the exciting part. Although, my wish probably would for us to give them more time, but since it is a contest, it takes time that I can look at them. But definitely, I can relate to all of them. They're all very, their stories are very special. Mm. Usually, may meron nakita ka rin bang mga powerful na parang gusto mong uh, i-challenge sa uh, you're nothing but a second rate trying to <laughs> copy ka. Oh well, iba na yun. <laughs> Pero right away, I already can tell kung sino ang uh, strong possibility. I have four. But, ang maganda dyan, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you who. But what's nice is to be surprised by those who are also equally talented but need to still shine. Yun ang gusto ko makita yung maumpog at ma mabasag yung mga ano nila. Yung, ba, yung mga editors and boundaries and their shyness. And then you'll never know, biglang nagbo-bloom. Before you know it, on the fourth or fifth, nagbo-bloom. So, sana sa umpisa pa lang mangyari na para hindi mawala yung pagkakapa. Because you only have one moment, di ba? One genius. But yung secondary trying hard copycat, bahala sila. Ang gusto nila. Right? There will always be a second copy anyway. <laughs> Kasi, may anong hinahanap mo talaga sa isang uh, uh, starstruck survivor? Anong, na, anong tinitingnan mo na talent niya? Na dapat ma-exel siya? Yung ano kasi yung, yung pagiging maganda at guwapo, na doon na silang lahat eh. Uh, isa sa package nila yun eh. Kaya lang hinahanap din namin, o okay, hinahanap ko rin, yung pagtumayo doon na parang pwede mong ipagawa sa kanya lahat na parang kaya niya. Uh, kahit hindi siya umaatin pag nasa harap niya. Parang pangit kasi tignan mahalap na agad natin. Eh. Totoo ba yung sinasabi niya sa, sa pagkatao niya? So, mahirap pumili. Pero kung sa may nakikita, meron nakikita, pero yun nga, eh, kailangan ilang araw pa, ilang 
makita pa ulit para sabi nga nila para na-develop o na-develop sila. Last na lang po sa tatlong council, may um, marami kasi mga talent reality search to them at lagi nila sinasabi yung star quality. Naniniwala ba kayo na yung star quality nakikita nyo agad sa isang aspirant uh, sa isang audition pa lang o sa ilang series of tests or kailangan dumaan muna siya na medyo matagal mo muna pagdadaanan niya bago mo makita yung sinasabing star quality? Hi. Well, for me, I think it takes years for you to really see what somebody can offer because it also has a lot to do with your experiences. Again, beauty and you know, good looks, it's time a dozen these days. Anybody can be famous on social media. But then I think it's really their authenticity as an individual, as a person that really sets them apart, whether they have the star quality right away. Um, I guess there's something special about them, not necessarily looks. Um, just the way they walk into a room and the way they carry themselves, that you can see, oh, okay, comfortable siya, mag-iusin man siya ngayon. And so I guess, I, for me, I like to invest or, you know, myself in those kinds of uh, individuals that they're very comfortable about themselves or maybe shy or meek uh, for now, but then you can see that, okay, may self, may sense of being kung tao na to. So for me, that's, for me, that's my um, idea of star quality na mong home siya eventually. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love the word authenticity. You know, yon. Ngayon sa mga millennials kasi hindi mo na sila maluloko. You know, you cannot boast at them. They know it when you're faking. So, kailangan talaga terecho, real. And there are already a few of them. In fact, many of them are really shining. Kaya ang hirap, ang hirap to make a choice. Pag tayo pa lang kasi minsan nila din. Minsan meron talaga pag tumuyo, mapapagalala kami. Wow, magawagan na kami. Kaya lang minsan pag nagsalita na, pag uh, kumilos na, nagtalag na. So, yun ay pinagpapas. Ano ba yung pwedeng gawin pa sa kanila? Yung pag tayo lang pa na gano'n? O yung kailangan may matidevelop na para sa kanila na maging start talaga sila? Lasta lang po kayo ito. Dok, um... Siguro masagot mo naman ito kasi very particular ba kayo ngayon sa, since the days of social media, very particular kayo sa background ng, as, ng hopeful kung chinecheck ba ninyo, may scandal, may video scandal, may ganyan, uh, kinoconsider na ba ninyo na baka hindi siya pwedeng pumasok, may mga ganun na ba? Yun, ano ang kaibahan ngayon ng season 7 sa nakaraan? At anong dapat na ba? Ah... Uh, Kung meron mo mag nagsiscreen nun, hindi kami. Uh, siguro bago pa dumating doon sa audition, nalalaman na nila kung nafe-filter na nila yun. Um, pero siguro, ah, ang tingin ko lang doon, kahit, kahit anong background pa siguro ng hopeful, para sa akin, personally, yun pa nga yung nagiging mas interesting. Kasi siguro to add, uh, to add on to what they said about authenticity, um, pagkatapos ng unang harap nila sa council, doon mo na makikita talaga kung sino yung Ano yung pagkatao ng, ng kandida, ng hopeful? And more than yung talent na ipapakita, yung personality niya on how he or she adapts and copes with the challenges, yun yung aabangan ko dahil yun yung kakapitan ko sa kanya. Dahil parang, parang magiging instant fan ako eh. Di ba? Kaya kesa mag, hindi siya masyado magaling kumanta o masyado siya magaling sumayaw. Pero kung sino siya bilang tao, makikita mo ka agad yun. And, yung storya niya sa totoong buhay ay eh magre-reflect yan sa entablado kung authentic siya daw. At yun yung hahanapin. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Tito Gordy. Next question natin, Tito Mario Bautista. Uh, congrats to the judges. Thank you. Uh, uh, ha, Sherry, Hi. I've seen your kids, especially the boy who just came here recently. They're all good looking. Would you, you. Encourage, would you encourage them to join an artista search like this? Well, if they want to, yes. Mm. But uh, maybe they will not do it here. They're there in New York. <laughs> that would be too challenging too. But Bianca is already an actress. She just graduated. So. Mm. Legitimate. The, how about the boy? How about the boy? My son, my youngest, Rafael. No, he's into other things. 
Mm. Into his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Young and having fun. Well, mm. he's traveling a lot. He wants to do law. I said, mm. go for it. I would like one member in our family to have some kind of law uh, expertise, right? Mm. Why not? Mabasak naman yung history of actors. <laughs> Through the years, we've seen those who born in the star star and also those who tried to enter it but didn't make it. And actually one of the biggest stars today of GMA, Alden Richards, was a reject of the star star. Now he was eliminated in the initial uh, auditions, Madam. But now it turned out he, he became one of the biggest stars of GMA. On the other hand, those who some of those who won are now back in the oblivion, like Steven Silva and uh, Martin Escudero. And the others, like Aljur, Raisa Senon, they decided to move on to the other network. So, ang hirap sabihin talaga kung sino ang uh, sisikat o hindi. But in your own opinion, what is more important, the looks or the talent? My personal yes, opinion, um, it would be great to have a combination, but I think the first thing I would look for is the talent. But again, it's also a particular thing that they're really also wanting to find is the whole package of that personality matched with the talent. Primarily, I think there's got to be some kind of talent there, whether it be in dancing and acting and in singing. I think my expectations were a little too high because I was at looking for the triple threats, which we seldom find nowadays. But we know that they have a potential in one way or another, in one area, that can still be groomed to be developed in the other areas. Singing, primarily, I find is very difficult to come by. So if one has a singing voice, she already, for me, has a, a, an edge over the others. So, matindi para sa akin yung talento. Um, if it goes well with her or his looks, then why not? Then he's the lucky one. But once the man is, or the, the, the potential is um, talented, lalabas at lalabas din yung pagkagwapo at pagkaganda eh, para sa akin. Ikaw, Hark, what do you think about it? Looks or talent? I think talent, kasi the looks will follow. I mean, nowadays, you know, it's all about developing yourself and pag naging comfortable ka na confident ka, automatically lumaganda ka. So it's really the raw talent that we're looking for. But going back to what you're saying and how the other the other talents that didn't make it, that's why I guess that's the beauty how I think about judging is if, you know, sometimes you feel bad in an e reject mo sila, but it's also good because, if, you know, maybe they're meant to be doing something else, something bigger also. So parang okay lang din to be, you know, um, let go of some. But then for me, going back again to your question, it would be definitely talent. Ikaw, oh, Jose. Kasi yung napansin ko, uh, dun lang sa Ibulaga Artist Time, ang daming may potential, di ba? Marami, marami. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, pag ako tinanong mo yung talent ako, <laughs> then yung itsura, talo na agad tayo, di ba? <laughs> yung, itsura, yung itsura kasi pwedeng ayusin yan, pero yung talent na dyan na yan eh. Kahit ano sabihin natin, kahit gaano kaganda ng lalaki, kahit ano ka kagwapo o kaganda ng babae. Pero yung talent, mahirap isaksak yan kung wala naman talaga talent. Okay, but I beg to disagree with the three of you because for me, looks first. Television is a very visual medium. So more than anything else, kailangan magaganda yung tinitingnan sa screen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dito Mario. Kama, Mario. Alright, before we continue our Q&A, kasi feel ko naman na very eager to know kayo kung ano talaga or kung paano mag-judge yung council members natin. Gusto nyo bang ma-experience yung starstruck experience na tinatawag natin? Iba pa-experience namin sa inyo. Kayo, i-judge kayo ng council members natin kayo. May experience yung paano pumasok sa starstruck. Mag-audition kayo tonight. Meron pa? Sinong gusto ang kumarap sa ating judges? Sir Romel! Romel Gonzalez! Sir Romel! Halika na rin, ikinan natin kung makapasok ka sa Final 14. Sasama ko sa muna. Dito sa kitna! Ipapasa ko na sa'yo yung floor. Yung floor is all yours. Pero, Mel, dito po kayo. 
Oh, hey, Mayor Romel. Welcome to uh, Stars Rock Season 7. <laughs> Palakpahan niyo po ang ating uh, number one hopeful. Kaisa-isa. Uh, Tiga saan po kayo? Laguna. Uh, Ilang taon na po kayo? Uh, next <laughs> <laughs> Ito maraming question sa iyo ang ating council. Pero sige, ano ba ang um, talento ipapakita mo sa akin? <laughs> Hindi, hindi, ganito na lang. Ikwento niyo muna yung buhay niya. <laughs> Marami kasi yung set of questions ang ating council. So sila muna ang susuri sa'yo. Okay guys? Ganun ba na? Rebel, una-una, bakit? Hindi <laughs> ko rin alam. Bakit? Bakit gusto mo mag-artista? Uh, Sawa ka na sa pagsusulat. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko rin alam ang sagot. Hindi ko alam, ah, I'm not prepared. Hindi, alimbawa, okay, alimbawa, nandiyan ka, sasali ka, yan, yan. Bakit gusto mo mag-artista? Well, okay. it's a very lucrative career, and fame and fortune combined together is the dream of anyone. Winner na siya! Agad, <laughs> agad, question and answer pa lang. Pilipinas pala ito. Thank you. Alright, so, what is it that you like to do? Sing, dance, or act? How about you do a now, scene uh, I cannot, with me? I can write about all of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say writing That's my talent. You can write a song. If you were to write a song about your love life, <laughs> or about what you love life or Starstruck, <laughs> about Starstruck, uh -huh. how would you write it? Well, simple. Dream, believe, survive. Starstruck. <laughs> Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, 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 Sherry, uh, 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 na DNA na nandun, lalo na dahil na na uh, na kami uh, mula bata pa. Namamana naman din, syempre. Pero meron din mga hindi naman na, na wala namang pinagmanahan, wala namang pinanggalingan, na nakakagulat din, di ba? So it comes with, I don't know how to explain where it's coming from. Ikaw, Hart. Sama naman na. Okay, okay. You paint so beautifully too. My Lolo actually before had movie houses in Bulacan and they had a production house called Everlasting Pictures. And so, medyo more or less, I guess, parang I also grew up with artistas in the house. My Lola Mama Chip was also, she started catering the shootings of Everlasting. That's how the, their business um, came up. So I guess it's also exposure. And then yeah. we have curiosity. But it can also be learned. Depends on the sipag, the chaga, and the determination. Because there are workshops, there are schools that can be... Uh, where you can be learned and books to be read. Nasaan sa inyo? Kagaya ng sinabi ni Mario kanina, yung mga hindi naman nanalo yun ang mga nagpursigi at nagtagal. Suddenly, their, their stars shone, which was not something that we predicted or had, you know, caught in from the start. So I think it comes from also their hard work, their desire to go and move forward. So, anon, para sa akin, naging swerte lang talaga ako na na pinagpala ako ng Diyos ng mga magulang na napakagaling sa kanilang ginagawa at nabigyan ako ng kahit papano yung kwanting talento niya. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you may never the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> si Jose, considering na you have a sign following your footsteps. Ilan yung boy, dalawa. Dalawa yung anak mo. Sino mas magaling sa inyo? Siyempre po sila. <laughs> Kasi mga dramatic actor, <laughs> nagdadrama yung mga bata. Pero nakakatuwa rin. Kasi nung bago sila pumasok sa showbiz, sinabihan ko naman sila na hindi ko sila 
Mahala sila. Hindi <laughs> ko sila, hindi ko sila, hindi ko sila alak. Hindi <laughs> ko sila. Hindi ko sila tutulungan na bahala kayo. Kung gusto nyo kayong tumuha sa sarili. Which is pinakikita naman nila ngayon. Na kahit pa paano nakikilala sila pa unti-unti. Mga lima na rin yung nakakilala sa anak. <laughs> Kaysa inyong tatlo, would you see, would you know a star when you see one? Kasi ka, namini, dati si Mother Lily who was, ano, uh, who has made a lot of stars. We have to face that. Sabi niya noon, uh, hindi daw nagagawa ng artista. Hindi daw kaila, hindi daw nagaano nag katulad nito na nagsi-search ng isang artista. Siguro katulad nitong contest, you have to look for them. Kasi considering na si Nora ano, probably never dreamt he will be a she will be an actress. But she became a superstar. Nag nagbibenta lang siya ng that's a good question. No? Sometimes you never know talaga the, the destiny that God's designed for each and every one. I guess, uh, kahit nga, like we said, at the guy, he never expected that. Um, I think it's also because of the times, the timing, the people, what they want to see new. You give them that what they still they don't know they, what they want or they need. Um, they probably looking for something different now. Kasi, like you said earlier, Mark, time a dozen. They're becoming so many of them, celebrities and personalities, especially through social media. I hope that at the end of the day, talent will still survive, um, that the audiences will appreciate uh, the talent that uh, that should prevail in this industry. It's hard to calibrate na rin kasi kung sino talagang dapat magtagal at kung sino pwede maging artista at makapasok sa industriya. Kagaya nga nung iba, sa dami nila, na hindi ko nga nagpapakilala sa akin, tita na agad ang tawag eh. Ayaw ko na nga nang ganon, di ba? Just because you appear on TV, I'm supposed to know you. So, for me, it takes a lot of years and a lot of love for it. So, para sa akin, ang intention at motivation of why you're there is very important. And I think a lot of it has to do with at the guy loving it, as you said, as an example. No? I think it comes from the love for it. And I guess then at the end of the day, I mean, star shop contests or beauty pageants, just because you didn't get it doesn't mean it's not for you. You just have to keep trying if it's something that you really want to do. And if it's really for you, siguro po, um, the stars will align and it will happen. Matusin siya. Ganda. Nag-align yung star mo. Hindi. <laughs> 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 Minsan nakakatulong din yung, ano, yung, yung pinanggalingan ng tao para, para sulikat. Ayun. Lalo ngayon, yung tao, mas gusto nila yung eto yung pinanggalingan nila. Mas sinusunda nila yung yung, uh, yung artista. Yung yeah, gusto nakakatulong. Cinderella story. Yung story. Yung success yung, story. Correct. Ah, ang last question ko is for Dingdong. Dingdong, palagay mo kung si Marian Rivera nag-join ng Star Strap. Would she have survived? Uh, I think so, yes. Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> Explain. Explain? Uh, yeah, siguro kapareho nung experience ko when I first saw her. Uh, kasi hindi naman kami nagkatrabaho kaagad. Nakita ko siya sa isang, sa backstage ng isang studio. So, doon pala nakita ko very interesting na yung, yung kanyang aura dahil uh, siguro dahil sa kanya appearance, pero nung nakita ko na siya mag-perform, eh, mas na-validate yung, ano, yung hinala ko na may something dito sa tao ito. So parang ganun din, di ba? Pag nakita mo yung, yung isang hopeful, yung unang bubungat sa iyo ay yung kanyang yung physical na kaanyuan, pero kapag uh, sinomplement na niya ng totoong talent at ng totoong kakayahan, eh, mas nabubuo yung, ano, yung katotohanan na she can, he or she can make it. Hello, good evening. Uh, una muna ki Shuri. Hello, Miss Shuri. Ah, do sa teaser kasi ni Stars na curious lang ako. Yung yung parang velo mong sabi na by the way, don't call me Tita. Seryoso ka ba doon? Ayaw ka daw si Tita. Oo, seryoso. Ang hindi ko sa akin sa script yun eh. Pero naging ano ko na parang running gag na sa mga tapings, sa mga sa mga kasama ko sa set, sa grupo, sa styling team ko. 
alam na nila yung line na yun. So, nung pinapractice ko yung spills ko, no second rates, no copycat, sabi ni Bucky, and don't call me tita. Oo nga, and don't call me tita. <laughs> Sinali ko na rin sa script, bumayag naman yung director. So, inaamingan mo yun yung hopeful na huwag magkakamaling tawa ng tita. Talagay ko kasi nang galing yun dun sa post ko minsan, dun sa Facebook na nag-post ako one morning, I woke up like this. Talagang mainit yung ulo ko that day. Masama yung gising ko. Nagsunod talaga ako and I wasn't fumbling, wala akong typos. Pag ganun, I mean, that means I mean it and I was inspired. So yung unang-unang lagay ko yung never, never call me tita. Tapos yun, pinasa na ni Lea Salonga, she posted it and shared it. And it somehow it became viral to the point that blogs were written about it and and it became a social issue. Yung pala marami na pala nag-identify sa akin, mga, mga uh, women my age, di ba? Who actually find it awkward to be called tita just because it's meant that you're older. So when is it right to address someone as tita? So yun, naging usap-usap. Kasi yun, doon na nag-start. Para sa akin kasi, makuwanti lang ang pwedeng tumawag sa akin tita. Yung mga kilala ko, huwag mo ko tatawa yung tita ha, dindong. Alam mo ko, kabagkad na ba si Gabby? <laughs> Things like that. So, I uphold the term tita for those that really deserve the term tita. Like my nephews, my nieces, and kids who I so grow up, family, friends. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, Thank you. Ah, uh, Kihar, hard sabi mo nga din sa teaser na you will be firm as a child, firm at fairer, di ba? Hindi ka ba magiging emotional kung sakali na parang Uh, maaawa ka sa isang contestant? Um, siguro, uh, always naman po emotional yung story, pero hindi kasi po ako masyadong iyakin. So, emotional in the sense that I can relate to them, but not necessarily iyak. Um, and uh, of course, it's something nice na kung nabarap yung story nila, may inspire ka, and it will definitely help their story. Pero, um, talagang for me, it's Whole, not just your story, it's what you are, who you are, when you see. Thank you. Okay, Jose. Oh. Jose, <laughs> ikaw ba parang bago mo narating yan, uh, status mo ngayon, parang napakarami mong pinagdaanan. So yun ay nakatulong sa iyo. Pwede mong ibigay na advice sa mga hopefuls. Siguro po, yung mga pinagdaanan nila, pwede niya i-advise sa kanila. Pero yung narating sa totoo po, hindi ko nga alam at nandito po ako ngayon. At uh, hindi ko po masyado kasi iniisip na ito na pala, Sherry, Sherry Hilton yung katabi mo, right na, ding dong. So, uh, yung mga nangyari po sa akin, mga struggle, wow, struggle, yung mga nangyari sa buhay ko, siguro pwede ko rin po i-advise sa kanila, makakatulong din sa kanila. So, sa masasabi mong level up na, level up na yung status mo ngayon? Hindi. Mm -hmm. Hindi pa rin. Hindi pa po, hindi pa po. Na pwede ka lang tawag yung icon. Hindi po, mahirap nga po ang suot ng ganito. Hindi na pa ako pag anong ganito, kakati na po. Hindi, hindi. Hindi ko pa po kinoconsider yung sarili ko na... Basta, trabaho lang. Trabaho lang ako ng trabaho ko. Ano yung binigay sa akin? Hindi ko sinasaksak na judge ako dito. Kailangan ganito yung pinakita ko. Kasi mas lalo po ako na nape-pressure din sa ginagawa ko. Thank you. Miss Kailin? Yeah. Paanong preparasyon ang ginawa mo na ikaw ang pinili para maging online host ng Star Trek? Well, it's a new field po kasi para sa akin. So, kumbaga, um, binigyan ko na ito kato ng Jimmy para i-explore um, ma naman yung isa sa mga pwedeng talents ko is hosting po. So, yeah, preparasyon. Siguro para nanonood ko ko ng mga hostings sa social media natin para Um, para malaman ko rin po, we like yung rhythm na yung pananalan tayo. Of course, si Kuya Dong po, nanonood ko po siya. Si Joy Spring, nanonood ko po siya. Nanonood ko po kung gano'n sila klarado magsalita. Kasi yung po yung hindi ako magaling eh sa klarado ng pananalita. Kasi nasanay po ako sa acting na parang mabilis ko. So, okay, and good luck. Thank you po. Hey Dong, si Dong ilang beses ka nang naging host ng Starstruck, di ba? Uh, Bilang isang host, paano mo ihihiwalay yung, yung emosyon mo kung sakaling magkakamit ka ng mga 
hopefuls na parang makakarilig. Hindi, hindi nyo talaga mahihiwalay. Kasi parang ganito lang yung pagitan namin parati nung mga natatanggal. Tapos ikaw pa yung nag-a-announce ng pangalan nila na parang in that moment guguhu yung kanilang mga pangarap. Di ba? So, hindi, imposible talagang mahihiwalay. Um, yung buong journey na yun, kasama namin sila. So, nararamdaman namin yung nararamdaman nila. And uh, yun din yung nakukuha ng audience, kaya rin po sila na nahuhok at sumusabaybay. Kaya naman, nakakabilid din talaga yung um, yung mga natanggal, pero at the same time, nagpursigi pa rin. So, ato sa ako, meron, meron akong mga sarili kong mga bit. So, pero sa akin naman, tinatago ko naman sa sarili ko. Kaya minsan, kapag sila'y natanggal, eh, mas apektado ako. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Salamat din po. May pahabal question lang po tayo from Jerry Olea. Doon sa tatlong sa Kansi, kung sa'yo yung dynamics ng pagkatataw ng tatlo, may times ba na kumbaga hindi kayo nagkakasundot tungkol sa isang hopeful? Yung gano'n. Yung nagkaklash pang opinions ninyo? Well, most of the time, oh. <laughs> Most of the time, hindi. But, um, mukhang magandang aming um, uh, mix because uh, heart brings in a different um, uh, analysis to it. So, sa naman, kahit anong gusto namin, okay din sa kanya. Easy lang siya. So, I think the battle is more between me and heart. <laughs> the serious choosing. Yeah. No, but um, we're finding our uh, rapport with each other naman. Ah, uh, hindi mahirap kasi. I think it, it, again what Ms. Shuri said. It's a good mix, and then um, masaya, masaya kami. Especially Jose, sobrang nakatawa siya. So medyo nakaka break siya ng tension, and sobrang galing din yung mag-translate. Hindi na yung subtitle siya yung mag-translate. Masaya daw kami kung may English kanya. Um, masaya. Ako ay enjoy. Just, yeah. Just Yun, siguro. Maayos kami nung first day na din nakita namin yung mga, yung mga bata. Doon pa lang, medyo naramdaman na namin na ito yung para sa kanya, ito yung para sa akin, yung para kay Heart. So hindi kami masyadong nahirapan. Sila kasi medyo technical sila. Mag yun ang pinagkas, kaya pinapaubaya ako sa kanila yun. So yun nga, sabi nga ni Heart, kailangan i-break mo na. Kama timing din ako kung kailan ako i-break sa kanila, kung kailan natin, namin kailangan. Mag-relax muna tayo, magpatawa muna tayo. So, sabi nga nila, yung ginagawa namin, the same time nag-judge kami, the same time nag-show kami, para mas ma... Maka, so, sir, pwede ka rin mahinga ng reaction sa may mga umu-question dun sa kapasidad mo, nagkakalang bakit ikaw ang inilagay siya? Yun nga, mara wala kasi akong ganyan, hindi nga ako nagbabas, kaya pumili ako ng kotse. So, <laughs> Hindi, hindi ako na, sabi ko nga, hindi ko naman kasi nilalagay sa, okay, yeah. sa, sa kukote ko o sa utak ko na judge ako. Pinili ako kasi karapat-dapat ako dito. Hindi ko po nilalagay sa ulo ko yun. Kaya kung ano yung marinig ko sa kanila, hindi naman masakit. Ako ano, defend. <laughs> yes. For those people that are judging him why he's, he's here, why he's a judge, sobrang hirap naging komedyante. And it's, it's really something that's innate. And I think, you know, for him to be a judge, I think it's perfect. Because hindi, hindi biro yung ginagawa niya everyday. At saka niya po kasi ngayon ko lang nalaman na pala he does all the conditions in Itulaga. That's where he began and all the, uh, the people, the uh, performers were supposed to come and perform. Ika yung nag-audition? Ako nag-audition. Hindi ka doon niya si Echo or something? Nung time na yun, yung PA ako. Si, oh. Kahit si Jericho, nung time na yun, nung pagbabasa niya nung mga skills na yun, ako yung nakagayit sa kanya. Paano niya ba nasahin yung mga skills na yun? Mahirap mag-audition dito kasi sa, sa, sa studio, sa Itbulaga, pag nag-audition ka, kami-kami lang yung nakakakita. Dito hindi ka na pwedeng mag-design na kahit isang decision lang eh. So, ando na nga magagalit na sa iyo mga kamag-anak, magagalit na sa iyo mga nakakakilala. So, yung social media natin, maluwag na ngayon, ma-open-open. Kaya ako hindi ako nagsasala. Wala akong Facebook kahit ano hindi ako. Para hindi magiinit yung ulo mo. <laughs> diba? Kasi, Correct, oo. Pag may narinig ka, nagtetext yung mga kamag-anak mo. Uy, sabi, ganito nga. Oh, sinabi nyo. Aba, siyempre, pinagmumura namin. Sabi ko, very good, very good. 
Oh, sila na lang, sila na lang. Ang dami ko lang ang problema, pro-problemahin ko pa ba sila, di ba? So, yung mga taong ganun lang siguro naghahanap lang sila ng attention sa buhay. Sabi nga, pag meron kang problema sa buhay mo, pilit mong ibinabato sa ibang tao para makatakpan mo. Yun ang pinakamahirap sa tao. Yun ang gabin mo yung katotohanan. Sir, sisingin lang ako. Kasi I've had the privilege of uh, seeing these three in action. Ako masasabi ko, 50% if not more of the entertainment na makikita nyo sa Starstruck ay manggagaling sa ating council. Abangan nyo po yan. Nice. Thank you. Ang gusay kumilakis ng mga tao. And I think that concludes our question and answer portion for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the hosts and council members of Starstruck Season 7. Please don't forget to watch Starstruck Season 7 beginning June 15 every Saturday after Daddy's Girl and Sunday.